the season to produce new life for the Toxandria homestead has started. So that means we had to take our calendar and start counting. This year we would like to experiment with setting our eggs by the moon's sign and see if it really makes any difference. If you would like to know more about this method of breeding chickens, please leave a message in the comments and we will be happy to make a full video on this topic. After counting and planning to find the correct dates, we filled our incubator with 13 eggs on January 23. We have separated some of our hens and roosters and put them in separate chicken coops. One hen was born out of a crossbreed Malinois and the rooster was born out of a crossbreed Malinois hen and a Brahma Bantam rooster. We also have housed the Sussex chicken with a rooster in another chicken coop. The rooster was born out of a Sussex hen and a Brahma Bantam rooster. The father of both these roosters can be seen in a few of our earlier chicken bites videos. Unfortunately, we lost this rooster earlier this year due to old age. As we solely have one crossbred Malinois and one Sussex hen left, we decided to see how the colors of these mixed breeds would turn out with their offspring. As we have only one hen who carries the color that we would like to see more of, we had to add some other chickens to create two flocks for our breeding purposes. To accomplish this, we have added some hens to the flock of each aforementioned rooster who have as much black in their feathers as possible. This way, both of the single colored hens are relieved of becoming overly stressed, as only one chicken per rooster is something we do not encourage, due to the risk of the hens becoming worn out in this situation. Although it is still winter in Toxandria, our chickens are laying eggs some of the time. So we collected the eggs for a period of 12 days. In these 12 days we managed to collect a total of 13 eggs. On the 12th day of incubating we checked all of the eggs by means of candling. Can you see which ones are fertile and which ones are not? Thank you. 
As you can see, out of the 13 eggs that we have collected, 12 of them proved fertile. On day 19, we stopped returning the eggs and raised the humidity up, so the little chicks can prepare for hatching. If you are as curious as we are about the outcome, please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on our next video, where we will try to show you the complete hatching process. See you back on Hatching Day. Thank you.